Welcome to Ignite 28, everybody. My name's Kat Atwell. I'm going to move the mic stand. All right, so yep, there's my name. Oh, we're doing my presentation from Go. Uh, <laughs> so like I said, it's Ignite. It's a little chilly outside. I did not realize just how appropriate my intro slide would be until right now. Um, if you, like right now, that's really a thing. There's a frozen hair festival in the Yukon, which is now on my bucket list. Uh, <laughs> Um, it has a, who here has never been here before? Oh, you guys are great. Oh, I love it. And who here has been here before? You guys are all as cool as the Solid Gold Dancers. Anybody here not know who the Solid Gold Dancers are? You're so young and lovely. It's an amazing show, Marilyn McCoo, look it up. All right, so tonight there's gonna be a couple things you need to keep in mind. One, people can't sell you stuff, hence the nope spider. And uh, two, there's math involved. Everybody's presentation is going to be five minutes and they automatically advance, these slides do, every 15 seconds like this one is. This quote is to show you that I'm about to do a presentation to warm you up for the good stuff shortly. And that's Dolly Parton, look like a Goddamn piece of work. So, I, uh, I actually wasn't at our show in October. And so, as this kept rolling forward, I'm like, oh God, I've got to do something really good to, for my triumphant comeback. And I had a blank. And uh, to the point that I actually Googled some topics like what should Ignite topics be. Um, True story, I finished this last night. I, nope, this morning, I believe. Um, and here's why. <laughs> so on, on the day of the show, last October 12th, I was having surgery to remove a very key organ that a lot of women have because the fucking devil of a period had become problematic. So this is me like the day after, and you're welcome for the picture of my bloated stomach and nude colored panties. There's me on the hospital bed, you're welcome, and my pixelated face. I went through a pigtail phase while on disability. Um, I got really lazy. This is actually a picture from my daughter's birthday party. That is not a beer. <laughs> I don't think. Um, but I got really good at relaxing. I had six weeks to myself to get used to um, not living with a uterus. And I felt weird because I was like, God, I don't feel like I need six weeks to recover, but that screws with your brain a little and your hormones. And suddenly you can't do things after like two hours. And uh, so I realized, okay, I'm gonna be going back to work and being human again soon. It's time for me to probably take care of the inside of my brain and not worry about the inside of my playground. So, um, and while I was thinking about this, I realized I've got a lot of shit that I carry. I have my psychologist, psychotherapist of 11 years, who's retiring in three weeks, you guys. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this, I was gonna put a picture of his face up and then I thought, mm, probably not. However, this is a piece of artwork from his office. <laughs> He's not gonna be there anymore and he has carried me through some tough times. So, you know, while I'm recovering, I'm also thinking I need to pick a good therapist, which is kind of like dating when you have to interview them. You know, what will you do if I cry? And uh, do we hug? And uh, that, that sort of thing might have come up uh, because I have some unique issues. Uh, you know, my stuff is a little bit different. I have bipolar disorder and anxiety disorder and panic disorder, which is what made this ride down here so super tonight. <laughs> Fortunately, I did happen to stumble across a decent therapist and his name is Ryan Gosling. Right? Uh, no, actually, I, I stumbled across a girl named Kate, and I was so excited, I looked exactly like this cartoon in the Olympics on ice skates when I showed up for our first appointment. It was awkward, but she rolled with it, which made me realize that I was exactly where I needed to be. These are all pictures that I wanted to put in, but couldn't, so look fast. The bottom one, where it says, with the sea so big, we seem so small, my daughter Lily drew that and said, you should put this in there. 
I don't know. And those are my bangs. And that's how fast a presentation goes. And if you do not know these people, like John, who thought they were a Swedish band, this is Queer Eye on Netflix. You need to check it out, like for real. That presentation I just did, gorge, and we're done. And that's how fast it goes. 